Hey Oscar fans, Evan Bland here with Tom Chattel with the Omaha World Herald. This is the Tom Chattel Press Box. Back on a Monday, another Matt Rule Monday. Tom, it kind of felt uh, like a little bit of a potpourri press conference today. Maybe there wasn't some overriding theme as is often the case. I thought uh, Coach Rule was a little bit quieter, maybe a little more subdued than he has been some weeks. But uh, you know, touching on a lot of, uh, of points from the Purdue win, what I guess, what was your impression a couple days later of how he felt like the team performed in a in a second half win over Purdue? Well, that's just it. It wasn't. I mean, it was a feel good win because they won, and you have to feel good when you're Nebraska and you win. Um, but yeah, I felt like the, 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 there, there was so much that they had to clean up. It was. Well, it wasn't like it was a loss, but I think like the mood today was okay. They won, but there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot to work on here. I mean. You know, before the game, you're out, you're out on the field, uh, running the offensive line and the defensive line out there, hitting each other. So you, you know, you're still working on that. Apparently, um, the, the the special teams things are you know, really stand out. And then this is a week where, if if you make mistakes, Rutgers will make you pay. Mm-hmm. And Matt Rule framed it after the game. He said, "This is a growing team. It might not be for everybody, right. but they're growing." And I think that's a different experience maybe than we've seen with Nebraska football for a while where when they when they lose a game it kind of felt like that was the start of a tailspin and, and in this case maybe that's building up to something bigger um, you know he mentioned how opponents are starting to prepare for Nebraska a little differently maybe um, they're seeing some different looks than they've seen how how have you seen this team continue to grow even with a loss even with an imperfect win last week I, I yeah they are a growing team um but, and I will say this, watching Illinois Saturday night at Penn State made me feel better about the Illinois game. I, I think Illinois is a lot better than anybody thought. Mm. They're probably have every chance to be a, a, a 10 and two team and maybe somebody that plays in a, a, a one, one of the bigger bowls. So um, Nebraska got them in overtime and you know could I could have won that game, but. I thought this team was playing better the first three games than they are now. And the last two weeks, um, so starting to see mistakes come up. To, the, they were better on, on special teams the first three games than they have been the last two. So I don't. And, and, and again, having to work those guys the day of a game, the morning of a game, to you know, I get them ready to hit somebody. That yeah, it, it's a growing team, but it's 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 kind of going the it's kind of going. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's gone backwards the last couple of weeks. I, I just I thought it was a better team the first three weeks. So, um, but they're not turning the ball over still, and right. they're getting great play on offense. It's a great play of quarterback. Um, it's a mixed bag right now, and um, but this is um, a game that they need to win. They, they need to win the home games. If you're talking about going to a bowl game, and and, and that and that. I, that's a must this year. You got to win these home games because um, the the road ones look, look pretty tough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you talk about big games. I mean, the, the Colorado one earlier continues to look good. The Illinois game, like you mentioned, maybe isn't as as much of a heartbreaker, just in terms of the caliber that Illinois is. And now you have Rutgers coming to Lincoln, yeah. as you mentioned, Tom, undefeated. That's a team that has an identity. Kyle Minongi, uh is, is going to run the ball. He's going to run the ball a lot, Matt. Rule kind of made the matrix uh, comparison today, where that's a running back who who seems like he can dodge everything all the time. What are you looking for in this matchup of two pretty physical teams that are maybe exceeding expectations so far? Well, I think you know, Rutgers reminds me a lot of Iowa in that they are not going to beat themselves. They're going to they're going to be who they are, and they're going to hope that they, they, that they, you do something stupid, uh, and then they're they're going to take advantage of it, uh, and they're going to be stingy in the red zone. But I love the way Ryle is playing. I love the running backs. Um, I would I'd love to see Harburg get in there more, and especially in the red zone, and, and drive people crazy trying to trying trying to figure out you know where he's coming from. Um, I think Nebraska will have an advantage uh, offensively. Um, you know, Nebraska's built to to win a shootout uh, if they execute well, um, and I don't think Rutgers is so. It, yeah. it's, it's kind of a tale of two different teams, um, but they got to get special teams, and they can't have a field goal blocked or have something stupid happen on that. Or 
or, or give up a, a, a big kickoff return. I mean, they've, they've got to tighten that up this week. And, yeah, it's a growing team, Evan, but it, it doesn't take two years to get special teams, uh, you know, get that thing, get that thing nailed down. So, uh, that, and, again, they were better at the first three games, special teams. I don't know what's going on. Well, they're going to get their chance Saturday afternoon. Should be a hot one. Rutgers coming into town. Incidentally, the only home game in the month of October for Nebraska this year. And yeah. here's, here's a fun fact to, to look cool at parties. Rutgers is the only team yet to beat Nebraska uh, among current Big Ten schools. So we'll see if that trend continues as well. For Tom, I'm Evan. This is the Tom Chattel Press Box. Thanks for watching, Husker fans.